Hello and come uh, around the uh, around the world in adventurous and mm. and okay we will go for how old are you muspi 5 five. 5 year old and you're going to africa already with zingi zainab with zingi zainab moody musfira is 5 years so totally you are how many years you are moody you're not moody so what should we call mus- mischievous musfira okay. yeah moody that's right she is marvelous musfira magnificent musfira ah magnificent wow that's nice so we are going to a country which is as magnificent as the name is it has rich history so it, it went through a tell- lot of fights and lot of challenges and we do two countries in one episode now and this country is called sudan sudan you know what sudan is sudan. more ancient than the pyramids of egypt it's older than the egyptian pyramid and river nile also passes through sudan and it was the home of an ancient kingdom called nubia no. the world's oldest monarchy the first king in the world was in sudan oh do you know that when europe had dark first ages king was yes. sitting in a chair in a chair he didn't have a throne okay right you know when Af- when europe was illiterate Illiter- and europe means? means they did not know how to study when africa when uh, europe had no street lights there were universities in africa Imagine world we'll talk about that wow. Africa was so rich when Europe was poor Africa had gold and what silver and world? diamond poor means we have no money so Africa had diamond mines so they uh, uh, so from Africa all the artifacts yes. uh, snacks what is that called what's the word for that uh, when you conquer conquer and colonialize remember three things change the world right Con- colonization commerce yeah. and, and christianity three seas that people went around the world to spread the three seas and that's how the world became smaller and people went to see the world spanish went to japan to spread christianity british came to india to do commerce and the the netherlands and the, and the french and the and the italians went to africa to colonialize and take slave people so that's what sudan was such a amazing country the first people of the world and these people are called the nuba people okay so there is a What mountain is a nuba nuba is a tribe so nuba people are often strange this you know is... they live in house which are called shal and this shal is not... yeah and only married men can live in the house if they are not married you have to stay outside the house What? interesting no What? yeah they want to have families they say family is important small children are important that's what sudan wants you all have to have small children and there the small children if are given have, if you have big children they can't go under in the house no they have to stay outside in a place called hola what okay? is hola hola is a place for for so it's more like a school and small babies children girls boys go outside to buy to to get fetch water because these countries are in a desert africa is so dry the water is a big problem And by the way, the What Nuba is dirty. dirty there also, and Nuba also has pyramids, right? Yeah. Pyramids. E- e- Egypt's pyramid may be very famous. Pyramids are shit. Yes, Sudan has some incredible pyramids. One of the pyramid was a capital called Kush, and it has two hundred pyramids from the Nuba family. Sudan is a Sudan world. Yes, so that's my next country I'm going to talk about. But let's quickly do Sudan first. Sudan's capital is. Quickly, one, Khartoum. two, Khartoum. Khartoum. Khartoum has lot of mosques, and the mosque has called Darwishes, Darwish. Okay, and these Darwish or Darwishes, they dance to the drums, and faster and faster and faster, they spin, 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 spin. Even Egypt has something. Uh, even uh, Turkey has this. They call spinning Darwishes. People go to like see a, them. Like a Beyblade. Like a Beyblade. Like a Beyblade. 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 What's that? You know we spin it. Oh, fun. like a spinner, right, right. Yeah, and this you know is what? You know that. Yes, okay, the top. And you know what's the national animal of Sudan? It's a uh, crocodile. crocodile. It's called the Nile crocodile, This the most crocodile. dangerous animal in the world. These crocodiles can even catch a wildebeest or a buffalo. And you know one amazing thing about crocodile? Uh, you know crocodile tears when you cry yeah, when you have yeah, like yeah, only yeah. for you know for they, reasons they cry, that are genuine. They cry like Yeah. So when crocodile eats a food, then the tears fall out of the eyes. It's What? called crocodile tears. What? In English, you say you know, when, 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 when you want to go play football. Animals, when yeah. See, when the cro- when crocodiles eat some animals, yes. they, they, tears their eyes, their eyes can 
water. Okay. So when when uh, when you say, "Abba, I want to play football," Abba says, "No, go to study," and you cry. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Just you know, bahana crying, just fake crying. That is called crocodile tears. All right. You, know, the Sudan has a port, and people may not know under the port the amazing animal, and one of the animal or the fish you can see is a hammerhead shark. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Yes, the shark which is a head like hammer. People don't know Sudan has also amazing scuba diving sites. So from Sudan, uh, a new country came out. So there was a civil war in 2011. people in sudan were fighting and fighting and fighting until Dang. a new country was formed it is called Dang. south sudan yes they are fighting yes. the capital is juba juba is the capital and the river is the nile river is called the white nile there why they fight yeah they were fighting because you know they wanted new land and they had different religion but something but, amazing but about south sudan was saying i want new land i want new land yeah land. and they fight fight land. fight fight So now South Sudan Sudan's again Sudan's flag is like Egypt or like Yeah Sudan's flag and South Sudan flag are very similar they are also like some Middle East countries isn't it And what is like So they like speak Jordan. Arabic and Sudanese yeah Jordan Jordan right Now imagine imagine if your neighbor town or city was like your favorite animal how would it be What what South Sudan became a future reality animal madhouse in the sense that rhino. they designed the entire country like a rhino Think of it The entire country was shaped like a rhino. They have a rhino's horn, a five-star hotel where you can live there. So South Sudan became very rich, although it's a small new country. It's only eight years old. Yeah, this is the youngest country. Yeah, country when it was formed. So South Sudan had a civil war, and it was formed in two thousand and eleven. Correct. Now, what is good in Sudan? Sudan has a lot of it's oil. South Sudan. South Sudan has a lot of oil. and also it has some amazing animals one of the animal is the black crown crane you see every time sudan has a swarm where these cranes will come just to migratory birds and they also have a, a favorite animal they have a long horn bull because these are all agricultural countries bulls and cattle and goats become very important in these countries and they have bikes oh i have to check if they have bikes or not but maybe they have some good food You know what is it called? It's called a pancake called kisra. Hey, kisra is interesting. It is made with oil. Look, this you can is a pancake. Fry it. You like pancakes? Yeah. What do you like in pancake? Butter. Butter. Honey. Yeah. But their pancake, what they do, no? To grease, you put put butter on the. You instead of putting butter, they put cow brains on the pancake. Cow. Oh. Yeah, fat from them. Wow. Interesting. Now you go to Sudan and and you know have these things. Okay. Quickly, as we close our. Our quick thing. Tell me the two countries that form Sudan, Sudan, Sudan and what's South the capital of Sudan? Uh, Khartoum and uh, Juba. Juba. What's the national animal of Sudan? Uh, the, remember, crocodile. remember, crocodile. And the national animal of South Sudan? Rhino. Rhino. Rhinoceros. All right. And the flags are very similar. And we will learn about more of these countries as we go ahead. You know, they also have dangal there. What's dangal? They have their own wrestling matches. And wrestling match is important where they fight the Mudari tribe fight with each other, the smallest tribe in Sudan. Every time a boy becomes a man, they have to do this wrestling match. So and you have to do with your father. And if you defeat your father, you are a man. If you don't defeat, you're still a boy, a baby. So we will find out in a two years if Munib has become our marvelous Munib has become a man or not. And we'll check in the South Sudan ritual. All right? Okay. Bye bye everybody and have a great time. Bye bye friends.